The project I'm working on tonight is pouring a heat riser out of aircrete for Julie's rocket mass heater. And um, I just got to tell you guys, this is not that complicated of a project. It's actually really simple. I developed and invented this device, this uh, small scale foam generation device called a foam mate that makes it pretty easy for anybody who wants to do these types of projects to do them from their own home. Uh, you can go up in the link above and check that out in our Etsy store and find everything you need to know about the foam mate as a tool to do these types of projects. If you have any questions in general about Aircrete or about the use of the foam mate, go ahead and check out some of uh, our prior videos and it's pretty self-explanatory. There's one video up in the right hand corner here I would definitely recommend you check out. It has to do with the heat riser and the project I'm doing. The prior heat riser that I built, her, I built it in four segments and I did four different mi mixes and treated them four different ways and I put this one together with the best possible mix. All we're doing here is making a jig that allow us to turn this webbing, this steel fabric, into a circle. Oh, you gotta help me screw it, huh? Yeah, that's good, that's tight enough. All we're doing is just using this as a tool to make our fabric round. It's bigger than the actual pipe I'm using. So, I don't want to make it too tight of a turn. So I made it just enough so I could overlap. And then when I eventually put a bladder in here and expand it and blow it up, it'll be the exact right size. This is a metal fabric, so we're gonna sew it together. But instead of using thread, obviously, I am gonna use this really thin gauge wire. Now you can get this at your local hardware store. Uh, I am the Honeydew Carpenter, so I keep it in bulk. I got that from armysurpluswarehouse.com. Thank you, Dana Collins. Um, <clears throat> but just a thin gauge wire, and you don't need 10,000 feet of it unless you're the Honeydew Carpenter. We'll be able to get in there. And just J-hook it up like that. a little bit and just pull it slowly pliers You're welcome, buddy. Good job, buddy. I think our uh, inner tube for our heat riser turned out awesome. Look down this thing. I made these four inch discs. Um, and if you want to know how, how to make a perfect circle disc out of a piece of wood, uh, go to my video on how to make a circle jig. 
made them exactly the right size. It doesn't matter if it's a piece of cardboard or whatever. I just happen to have a piece of Sarnafil. Sarnafil is a 35 mil roofing material for flat roofing. Um, I got this from my nephew. Thanks, Mitch. If you were going to use something that's pliable like Naga Hide or even Visqueen or something, I would put a piece of cardboard uh, as a buffer in the balloon that we're going to inflate in the middle to hold it out so it holds the air creed out. But this stuff has a felt backing that's about a quarter inch thick and when those overlap it's going to leave a funny shape when the air creed goes against it. So I'm going to remove the felt backing. Oh, just want to roll it into a shape that we can see. fit through we just want this to fit through and then you can stick that on now screw that on buddy can you read the numbers yes. yeah Those what number are, is that is that a four no it's just a 24 that's a 24 oh well you count awful high for a three-year-old Hey, honey. What? What about filling this with sand instead of trying to blow up with the tube? You gotta be kidding me. What? You're not supposed to come up with the good ideas. That's my job. <laughs> you like that idea? Oh my gosh! I just wasted four bucks on an inner tube. Come on, babe. So what are you doing now, babe? I'm putting a screw in this little center hole in my disc so no sand will come out of it. I decided I'm going to fill it with sand now. I think that's a better idea. I'm the honeydew carpenter. I come up with all the good ideas. Yeah. Here, you can have the phone. Sand. Anybody can do sand. I chose play sand, not a silica sand. Silica sand is just single granular size sand. Play sand has a gradation, which means it has different sizes of sand in it. And if you get it a little bit moist and wet, you're, you can actually pack it. And we need to be able to do that. Good job, buddy. And it looks like it's working out perfect. So. Yeah. Kudos for Mrs. Honeydew. <laughs> Get out of here. Hey, you put some in now, bud. Good job. Now I'll pack it down. And that's going to give us quite a bit of nice insulation when we stick this inside of this. So we have to cut our one inch slits in there, just like we did for the insulated stove pipe. And bend them over.
All right, guys, that's it for today. Um, I know there's been a lot of questions out there when Julie's getting her rocket mass heater back, but it's going to be in there soon. So if you like what we're doing here, go ahead and like and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell at the bottom and get notifications. And make sure you check out our Etsy store.